Right guys, well, we've just done a 10 minute challenge to see if I could catch five F1s here at Partridge Lakes on the short maggot line. And Rob's decided to do the same challenge, but obviously it's gonna be on my gear. And now this isn't set, set up for Rob. Slightly different to my usual setup. Yeah, so I'm left-handed, Rob's right-handed, so it's not gonna be easy for him. I'm gonna try and do it authentically. I'm gonna try and do everything left-handed, so we'll give it a go, but it's gonna just definitely not work. Yeah, so I'm gonna say it's not gonna be the easiest of challenges, getting five F1s in 10 minutes when you're fishing back to front, but gonna he's gonna try. There's a lot of fish there, to be fair, so. You know, I'm not going to put any pressure on him, like, but... <laughs> you have got it all lined up for me. I've put my bait on right under there, but I'm going to so, open that. So, there's 15 seconds now until it's a minute into the video. So, what I'm going to do, when we get to a minute in, yeah. I'm going to say go. So, you've got eight seconds. Right. Eight seconds. Are you right. ready? I'm ready. Right, I've got my marker. The ducks. The ducks are my marker, aren't they, really? All in. Right, okay. So, we're off. What was your marker on your pole? Yeah. It's the join of the section, Rob. Let's see how he's throwing his back to front. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can throw him. Yeah. No, actually, this, one, this is right. Oh, no, it's not. This isn't right. No. Oh, my God. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think you're going to have to hurry up and throw some in. Well, that was bad. Mm, I would love to throw it again. Oh, it's slightly too fast. Yeah, that, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Yeah. Do you have a liner? Yeah. There has been a few starting to come up later in the day. Like, it's been a crazy day this today because when we started, there wasn't many fish feeding at all. It was minus two. Real slow start. Oh, he's in, he's in. He's in. Okay, so what do you do? This is that hand. Hi. <laughs> he's asking me what to do. He's got it. He's got one, though. Right. Amazingly, you're only a minute in. A minute in? Yeah. Okay. So you're on at the minute. You're on. So it feels so weird fishing like this. You're looking, you're doing well. You're doing well. So that's one. So a minute and 13 seconds in. But yeah, as I was touching on, it started off really slow. And we actually were struggling for bites. And as it's warmed up through the day, it started to get progressively better. And particularly on this maggot short line, it's absolutely solid now. So I might tell it's still not the warmest. I might be shaking the camera a little bit. It's quite cold. That wind's a bit nippy. No, no. You haven't got him, have you? No, I thought I had the duck. Right. See if I can throw some knees as well. I am going to tell you, Chris, that I've got your pole very muddy. My knees are covered in mud. Yeah. I think I'm going to be the same now. I'm here, here kneeling down in the mud. Two minutes and 12 seconds. Two minutes, 40. He's got one. <laughs> he's doing well here. He's, right, he's a natural. Maybe he's better with the left hand. I've got my gear over to left hand. <laughs> you know, I, I've always thought that the left-handed anglers, you know, were far superior personally. Mm. Um, so... What other left-handed anglers do you know? Very good. Um, Mark Pollard, I think he's left-handed. Kieran Marsden. Yeah, but he's not very good. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's a good answer. Yeah, Kieran, yeah, not Kieran Marsden then. Young Alan Fileson, yeah, skimmer daddy. Skimmer daddy, yeah. <laughs> so he's on, he's on two, he's got three more to catch. He's been in. Three minutes and we'll, ten seconds. We'll so he's flying. Oh my god, that went terribly. Not too bad. That's, That's much better. Feels so weird throwing left hand with my right hand. Channel memberships, we've got loads of exclusive content for you guys to enjoy now. For just $4.99 a month, you get four videos with at least one live match, sometimes two. On top of that, you get an exclusive members only live stream with myself and a star angler. So, so far we've had Lee Kerry, James Dent, Christian Jones, just to name a few. Loads of great top content. Plus, if you want to pay $7.99 a month, you can get our Catch More Media Elite package, which gets you all the edited content you just mentioned yes. a whole week earlier than everybody else. Even the stuff that goes on the main channel, folks, you'll get it a week earlier.
So if you want the real edge over your mates, you want to know the killer edges from the stars before everybody else, that is the package to go for. Get in there first. Go and check it out. You will not regret it. See you over there. Sorry if the uh, camera's a bit wobbly. I am shivering a bit. It's cold, isn't it? I know. You know, sometimes they will rock up like this for you. You know, you're not you're not going to catch like this all day. You can get spells like this last hour of the match. Generally, we are getting on in a day now. I think we're coming up to three o'clock, so it would be the last hour now. He's in again. Look at the boy go, left-handed. Nice. I feel like you're getting lucky with the size of the F1s as well. They're coming in easy for you, aren't they? Lovely. So you've been fishing now four minutes and 20. You've got two more to catch. So you're well on the target. But you know, can't get complacent, can you? You've got to catch him. Yep. I know it feels that way, doesn't it? But clearly they are getting to the bottom because we're catching the fish. So it does feel like the, every maggot you throw in is getting eaten by the ducks, doesn't it? Oh, he's fouled up one. Is this the beginning of the end for young Rob? I know what's happened here. I've been trying to tell him. I've been banging on to him all day about, you know, control your feet, don't get giddy. I think I think he started just levering it in. And... No, you do it. You're doing well, pal. You're doing well. You, in all seriousness, the thing with this sort of style of fishing, you are gonna, you know, in the deep water, you are gonna foul up some fish, especially when there's a few there. That's the one of the things you just gotta try and control yourself, make sure you're not overdoing it. It's easy when you're getting a bite of chuck, just to think, you know, keep handballing maggots in, but when uh, when you start to do that, you end up sending it backwards now see what he just did there it's perfect instead of you know just lashing loads more bait in he knew there was some fish there he knew there was some bait on the bottom still spot on rob yeah. I've, I've, I've impressed the master that's great right how long have i got left it's... you've well you're on so you're on seven minutes and 39 but take a minute off for the start of the video you're only on six minutes six minutes and 45 now so you've got ages really so this is just a at the minute it's a tremendous result for you but yeah i'd say so That technique on chucking them in seems to be working well for him. They went all right. Yeah, and just try that. That's another thing about this sort of thing. When there's a few fish feeding, you can fish it where you can throw your bait really, really accurate. You'll just catch them easier. You have to line them up. The further you go out, the more you're going to spread your bait about, and it's going to you're going to be waiting a little bit longer for bites. Well, if you get this now, you've, you've absolutely stormed it. He's got it. Seven minutes and 55 seconds. Five F1s. The lad is an absolute machine. Look at that. And he's much better left-handed than he is right-handed because I've watched him right-handed and he's not as good as this. Absolutely useless. What a day we've had a party today. 
brilliant in it we'll just spin round and look at the show you where we've been fishing so this is covey free at partridge peg 62 we're on which it has he's gonna have another chuck yeah it's been a good area of the lake i just think because we've got this top bowl here and where the three channels meet just tend to hold a lot of fish so you, you know they is good areas of the lake we're not going to sit on a poor area of the lake especially not with how cold it was this morning we need to make sure you know we've got a few bites so we can demonstrate the tactics what we want to show you you know it's just absolutely oh you know what that's fed too much you can see you know what i'm what we're trying to stress about it is just control it Maggot over the point. Oh, maggot over the point. I do believe that was a foul look fish, though, if I'm honest. Yeah, so it went, it went off like a foul looker, but we can't, we can't end the video on a foul looker. No, so we're going to let him catch one more. Even though he's completed the challenge, we're going to allow him to get one more. He's on, still under the 10 minute mark of the challenge. Been fishing for 9 minutes and 18 seconds. We've had a great day, haven't we? Loads of good videos. Yeah, we've got a few good videos. So what we've been doing, obviously, we've got a video of this maggot short fishing, and that goes along with the challenge, what I did, and obviously now Rob. And we've got a few other videos, some tips of main sort of faults I see in anglers when the when I'm coaching. Not necessarily faults, but things maybe that people might overlook. Um, and, you know, sometimes... You know, it's not always obvious that you can see what you're doing wrong until someone points it out to you. So that's a bit interesting video, I think, for people. And then um, about different pole pots. This time of year, you start to catch a lot of fish sort of on micro pellets. Oh, where's that going? <laughs> this one's going oh, south. He's far looked another one. He's overfed it. But this is, speaking of overfeeding, that's what I was talking about, about the pole pots. So controlling your pole pots, the fish starting to come in the edge and across and you're fishing with pellets. Just talking about pole pots and a few other different videos. So check out the, not only the main channel, but also the members channel. But well done, Rob. Completed the challenge, caught a load of fish. He's, he's won it, well done, pal. <laughs>